What's up, everybody? Well, I got another gameplay video for you guys today, and today we're gonna have another look at Rust, only this time at 1440p. So, we are all set up and ready to go since this is the laptop's natural home now. Don't really have anything to set up, just more like hook stuff back up, hook the display or the USB-C cable back up, hook my audio cable back up, and bam, ready to go. So, let's hop in and look at some settings. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have presets, so I'm kind of left to do it myself, but I think I did a pretty good job. All right, so let's just take a quick, quick look at the screen. There's only a couple options here. We are at 1440p, exclusive full screen, no V-Sync, and we bumped the limit up to 240, which I wish you could just turn it off altogether, but that's what we got. So I put it up as high as it could go. So now let's go and have a look at the rest of the setting. Now for the rest of the graphic settings here. So we're gonna start off with what I like to call lowest. Well, first let's get rid of that. We definitely don't need any four cascades. That was high setting there. But there we go. Kind of turned everything down to like what I would think is low and turned off all the rest of the settings that are like grass displacement and all that kind of stuff. And then as far as mesh quality goes, we just kind of put line them up with some of the other stuff. And then image effects. We don't have any of this in yet and we're gonna leave the rest of these off till we max it out. Just changing MSAA in there. And then we're gonna leave the experimental stuff off till the end too. Well, here we go with some low gameplay. Thought I saw something for a second there, but it turned out to be nothing. Is that shit moving? There's a little boat. I should have tried to go push that in. I didn't see that while I was actually, like, recording for you guys. Eh, it's a lot easier when you're, like, not paying attention to everything else when you're just sitting back doing voiceovers to notice these things, though. It's like having four eyes on the screen. I made myself tap in hindsight. All right, though, I would say this looks like a good little spot to move on. All right, guys, so for 144p, starting here on low, or I guess my version of low. Oh, get over the rock. I'm trying to get up out of this freaking place, but I can't seem to yet. Oh, can I hop up here? Cool. And there's lots of people in this game. Well, at least lots of buildings. I don't know if the people are actually in them, but... A lot of structures. Alright, well, we'll just try to stay out of sight-ish. Hopefully nobody will see me and kill me. But I only need to get a minute or so of footage, so... I'd have to be pretty unlucky for that to happen, but it's happened in Warzone and shit, so... Who's to say it wouldn't happen here? Man, that is so funny. Watching the bushes and stuff since we've got everything turned down so low. Just go from being like, I am Nintendo 64 to, hey, look at that. I have textures after all. Uh, just plain fun. All right, well, let's go hide in this bush. And... Up the settings a little. Now on to what I like to call medium quality. I had to do all these myself, so hopefully I did a good enough job. And again, they're not perfect, but I think that's still good enough. And I'm sure whoever wanted to see this game will be pretty happy with all these videos. Now let's go look at the image effects. We've bumped up to FXAA instead of having no anti-alias at all and left the rest off. And like I said, we're leaving all these off until the very end when we max it out. Okay, we bumped it up to medium now, so let's just run around and get a little footage of medium now for Rust. Yeah, let's just keep running down the dang rails, why not? They gotta go somewhere, don't they? I 
guess that's not a true statement, but let's hope they go somewhere. And if not, we're still just gonna run down all the rails. Oh, for a second I thought that was an animal. I think that was somebody's, like, pot. But not, like, pot like marijuana, like, kennel or something like that. It almost looks like a cauldron. It's running pretty good though, it's a little teensy tiny bit stuttery here and there as you can see in the frame time graph, but definitely far from unplayable. So let's go over here and move on. Well, here we go with, I guess what you would call medium. Figure I'll just walk down some rails. Most things I'm curious where they go. Doubt we'll find out by the time I'm done making this video, but I'm just gonna keep walking down them. I mean, unless I see like people. I'm going to try to avoid them if I can, because I'm mostly sure most people in this game probably kill other people on sight. I don't know for sure. Maybe people aren't all assholes. I don't know. I don't know what to expect, but I should make sure I'm not just being stalked. <clears throat> Though even if I was, they could just be hiding behind some bushes, and I'd never know they were there. No, I wouldn't. Man, that looks like a big-ass wall. It's almost like a damn castle. Alright, let's just hide in these bushes and up the settings. Moving right along to high settings now. Or at least I tried. A lot of these only had like two freaking settings. Or three. The water quality, water and rural reflections, all those only had like one or two. So I figured I'd wait till max to turn those up. So, now the image effects. We've got MS. Or MS. Wow. S M A A. Jeez. <laughs> AA on now, so these are all off, so let's move on to the game. All right, well, I was hiding in some bushes there real quick. I would have a good eye spot. I don't think anybody would have seen me. I mean, unless there's really advanced shit in this game, like uh, heat-sensing goggles and shit. Or if you ran in there and found me yourself. I'm not going to lie, the music in this game kind of reminds me of the game uh, Dying Light 2. And I also just got Dying Light for Steam. I know I'm playing it backwards, but I got the second one because it looked cool, so now I kind of want to play the first one, and it looked like such, it seemed like a pretty old game, so it seemed like it would be a perfect kind of game for my uh, Steam deck. Seeing as though that game isn't really that much about aiming. I mean, I had my bow in the other game, but I don't even know if there is a bow in the first game, you know? It might just be all blunt weapons. There were no guns or anything either because ammo was so scarce. I used it all in the zombies and then couldn't make any more, so no more ammo. And imagine having to, like, stay under, like, what is that, that blue light stuff? I think they call it, like, ultraviolet lights. If you didn't stay under that at night, you'd turn into a zombie. Because the, the virus was, like, airborne and shit. It was kind of an interesting game for anybody who hadn't played it. I highly recommend it. It's like zombies mixes with uh, Mirror's Edge, the free-running game. Anyway. Why don't we move on? All right, now we're on basically high. And we basically only have one more setting. Or this is the last setting before we max everything out. So, still doing very good. I mean, we got a tiny little micro little stutters, but the game looks smooth to me. I can only tell that they're there because I've got the frame time bar. At least it's not like doing these gigantic ones. Oh, that's just them tweeting at me. I was like, who the hell's talking to me? I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Are we following? Alright. Not like I can do anything if they were. I would just like to know, you know? I am starving. Well, hopefully you can survive just long enough for me to get one more setting. 
I'm just gonna run up to these bushes over here and then we can up to the next graphic setting. Hmm, that looks like a better bush to hide in. Yes, yes. There we go. And now, let's move on. Now we got this thing completely maxed out in every way that we can anyway. Obviously we can't use NVIDIA's DLSS, so... I wish this game had FSR to give a try. Maybe they'll add it at some point. Maybe not. If it ever does, I'll come back and give it a shot. So there's all these guys. All these mesh qualities are maxed. Now we got TSSAA. I can at least say that one for crying out loud. And all the other guys here are all on as well. And then we turn on everything in the experimental tab as well. So, now let's hop back into the game and see how she did. Here we go, we have maxed all the settings now. It kind of adds like a, almost like a blur effect. And I'm betting you it's one of those advanced settings, so I don't like whatever that setting is, but besides that, it looks really good. Considering this game, I think, is already a couple years old. I don't remember exactly what they said it was, but I thought this was a 2017 game, but maybe I'm wrong. It just came out. Obviously, people can correct me if I'm wrong. I keep hitting my head on metal. I don't think that'd feel very good. Or I guess it'd be more like the chick's throat. I kind of thought it was weird. I didn't like pick a character or anything. I just hit play and figured they're going to have me make a character and they're like, nah. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, that makes things a lot easier. They literally just gave me like some naked chick to run around with. So I have to be careful with reflections and looking down and shit because I don't want to get my channel taken down. That wouldn't be any fun. Because we all know that would be the end of the world, showing a small amount of nudity in a video game. Or better yet, the game should have something like, there's a couple other games where you can like turn on like a blur filter if you want to like stream and shit like on Twitch. This game should have one too. Maybe it does and I just didn't see it. Anyway, let us move on. Well, now we are completely maxed out. So let's get ourselves a little footage here. We got everything on, even all the experimental stuff. Man, game does sure look pretty decent. Not like the greatest looking game in the world, but especially the clouds look nice. Man, these railways really just keep going forever, don't they? I wonder how big the map is, anyway. Probably huge. Well, all right. I'd say that's more than good enough, so why don't we go ahead and wrap this on up? Well, all right, guys, that's a wrap for Rust at 1440p, and it still handled it just fine. We got down in the 80s once we turned everything to max, but still, more unplayable for a game like that for me. I don't need, like, 400 FPS in a game like that. Maybe if I was in, like, a firefight against somebody, but I don't know if that's really the main part of a survival game. It's more of a survival thing. And hope people don't come to kill you more than to run around and kill, and kill people. I mean, teach their own though. I guess if you're super powerful and whatnot and you got a bunch of cool shit, you might want to just go around and pick on the weak people. Some people are like doing that. That's not really my cup of tea. That's like taking candy from a baby. What the hell's the point in that? Anyway, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until the next one, peace out, guys.